2,500 years ago, after the destruction of the first temple by the Babylonians, they appointed a Jewish governor to rule over a small Jewish remnant that lived in this land. His name was Gedaliah ben Achikam. And as described in Jeremiah chapter 41 and in Kings 2 chapter 25, a fellow Jew named Yishmael and some of his friends came and joined Gedaliah for the festive meal on Rosh Hashanah, and then Yishmael rose up and assassinated Gedaliah. He did so because of a political dispute. Was it personal jealousy? A foreign king spurred him on to do so? It doesn't matter. A Jew killed a fellow Jew, and that led to the complete exile of the Jewish people from the land of Israel. The tragic results that came from this horrible hatred from one Jew to another. We fast today in mourning to remind ourselves of what could happen when we let our disagreements or our jealousies go too far. We can disagree with each other. We can argue with passion over the future of Israel, over the future of the Jewish people. But there's a line that we cross where it's no longer disagreeing agreeably. We're no longer civil one to the other. And that, as we learn from the story of Gedaliah, can have tragic, tragic consequences. Rosh Hashanah, we focused on crowning God as our king, laws between man and God. Today, on Som Gedaliah, we take our repentance one step further, and we focus on our relationships to others. Are we loving others as we love ourselves? Are we allowing our disagreements to rip ourselves apart? That is what we must think about today. May all of us conclude this Tzom Gedalia with a commitment to love fellow Jews and other human beings as we love ourselves, to disagree about all important issues, but to do so civilly, to do so agreeably, and never cross that line where we're in any way hurting one another. That is another step towards our complete